pardon me, thou bleeding piece of earth, that I am meek and gentle with these butchers. Thou art the ruins of the noblest man that ever lived in the tide of times. Woe to the hand that shed this costly blood. Over thy wounds now do I prophesy, which like dumb mouths do ope their ruby lips to beg the voice and utterance of my tongue. A curse shall light upon the limbs of men. Domestic fury and fierce civil strife shall cumber all the parts of Italy. Blood and destruction shall be so in use and dreadful objects so familiar that mothers shall but smile when they behold their infants quartered with the hands of war, all pity choked with custom of fell deeds. And Caesar's spirit, ranging for revenge with Ate by his side, come hot from hell, shall in these confines with a monarch's voice cry havoc and let slip the dogs of war that this foul deed shall smell above the earth with carrion men groaning for burial. You serve Octavius Caesar, do you not? I do, Mark Antony. Caesar did write for him to come to Rome. He did receive his letters and his coming, and bid me say to you by word of mouth, oh, Caesar. Thy heart is big. Get thee apart and weep. Passion I see is catching from mine eyes, seeing those beads of sorrow stand in thine. Begin to water. Is thy master coming? He lies tonight within seven leagues of Rome. Post back with speed and tell him what hath chanced. Here is a morning Rome, a dangerous Rome. No Rome of safety for Octavius yet. Hie hence and tell him so. Yet, stay a while. Thou shalt not back till I have borne this corpse into the marketplace. There shall I try in my oration how the people take the cruel issue of these bloody men. According to the which thou shalt discourse to young Octavius of the state of things. Lend me your hand.